with this we come to the end of rbi we have studied about the functions now now let us talk about the quiz which of this is which of the following is not a selective credit control method selective recently we have studied rationing of credit direct action changes in margin requirement reserve requirement changes rationing of credit direct action changes in margin requirements all these were selective measures reserve requirement changes was a quantitative measure or a general measure the reserve bank of india issues all currency notes except 500 100 10 all these notes are issued by rbi it is a 1 rupee note that is uh, issued by the ministry of finance buying and selling of securities or bills in open market is called open market operations in order to control credit crr should be increased and bank rate should be decreased crr should be reduced and bank rate should be reduced crr should be increased and bank rate should be increased now when crr is increased the amount of credit that is available for lending that also is reduced so that is how you can control credit and when bank rate is also increased borrowing becomes expensive and that is also how you can control credit so both should be increased buying and selling of securities or bills in open market is called open market operations which of the following methods cannot be used as an instrument of quantitative control of credit cannot be used changes in margin requirement is a selective measure or a qualitative measure the rest are quantitative or general measures then note is issued by any other note other than one is issued by rbi which of the following is the monetary authority of a country monetary authority the central bank of a country is its monetary authority or the apex bank the lender of last resort means the government coming to the rescue of sick industries commercial banks coming to the rescue of cooperative banks central bank coming to the rescue of banks or none lender of last resort is a function of the central bank it is called as lender of the last resort when commercial banks cannot arrange for loans from anywhere else they come to the central bank for loans so central bank coming to the rescue of banks in times of financial crisis that is they mean lender person who can give them money last resort is that it is of their last help that they can see which of these is a quantitative method bank rate moral suasion margin requirement all of the above quantitative is bank rate margin and moral suasion are qualitative method which of the following is not a selective credit control policy bank rate is not a selective credit it is a general credit control policy who is the custodian of national reserves of international currency we have studied that rbi is the one which maintains our financial reserves dash is the bankers bank in india rbi is a bankers bank the apex bank of any country is a bankers bank in our case rbi which of the following is not a qualitative credit control qualitative capital rationing moral suasion slr margin requirements all these are qualitative only this is quantitative slr statutory liquidity ratio which the banks reserve which are banks have to maintain with themselves out of their total deposit rbi was nationalized in 1949 rbi was nationalized in 1949 the rest of the commercial banks were nationalized in 1969 and 1980 when the bank rate increases the demand for loans decreases or reduces when bank rate increases loans become expensive the rbi can decrease the bank credit by lowering the bank rate increasing the bank rate lowering the crr or all of these 
it can decrease the bank credit decrease how will you decrease the credit by increasing the bank rate you will decrease the credit which of the following is not the objective of rbi lender of last resort bankers bank leading to the public banker to the government it does all these things but there is no public dealing in rbi so this is not an objective of rbi which system of issue of currency is followed by rbi we had talked about this that rbi follows a minimum reserve system for issuing currency a minimum reserve has been kept and against that currency is issued in order to control credit bank rate should be decreased we had studied that bank rate should be increased and crr should also be increased when we increase both we control credit monetary policy is announced by you often come across this question monetary policy is announced by reserve bank and physical policy is announced by the government of india the rate at which rbi rediscounts the bills of commercial banks is the bank rate the rate at which it repurchases the securities is the repo rate which one of the following is not an objective advancing loans to public is not an objective of rbi monetary policy includes regulation of money provides employment credit control all of this it includes credit control it has nothing to do with employment generation the crr is determined in india by the reserve bank of india identify the selective instrument margin requirement is a selective instrument issue of directives is selective regulation of consumer credit all are selective measures that are adopted bank rate is also known as discount rate it is the rate at which rbi discounts the bills of commercial banks which of the following tool is a tool of monetary policy that a nation central bank could use to stabilize the economy during an inflationary period in an inflationary period the rbi tries to control credit how will it control credit by lowering bank discount rate no then it will lower bank rate discount people will be encouraged to borrow no lowering bank reserve requirement no banks will have more money to give selling government securities yes when it will sell government securities and people will buy those securities the money will go to rbi and the money in the market will be reduced so selling government securities is a monetary tool that will stabilize the economy central bank of a country does not deal with public it deals with the state government central government and commercial banks but it does not deal with public dash is the rate at which the central bank discounts the bills it is the bank rate dash control affect indiscriminately all sector of the economy quantitative measures affect all sectors selective measures affect only some sectors not an objective of rbi economic stability is a function or an objective currency is an objective advancing loans to public is not an objective the rest all are foreign exchange also it is maintained which of the following is not controlled by rbi cash deposit ratio is not controlled by rbi which of the following is not the function bankers bank issue of currency regulation of foreign trade is not its function foreign exchange reserve it keeps but foreign trade it does not deal in which one of the following statement defines the terms reverse repo rate the rate at which commercial banks borrow money from rbi no the rate at which rbi borrows from other banks this is a reverse repo rate when rbi borrows and banks and says that we, i will repurchase the rbi classifies currency with public plus demand deposits this we had learned when we were talking about money currency plus demand deposit what is it it is m1 monetary policy in india is formulated by rbi which of the following is used as a measure of credit control by rbi all this is used moral suasion issue of directives direct action all these measures are used 
When the bank rate increases, the demand for loans decreases. The rate at which it rediscounts the bills is the bank rate. The CRR is determined by the RBI. Which of the following is a tool of monetary policy that is used to stabilize by selling the government securities it controls? 